right and privilege. He was an outsider. Who is this fellow Mesmer? Where does he come from? Vienna. <sighs> a man of science and medicine. You haven't cured her. We must bleed her immediately. Open up one of her veins. No, father, no. With a passion for beauty. Passion and medicine do not mix, Dr. Mesmer. They don't. No, they are at opposite poles. Great genius, Mesmer. What a fool you are. He would induce an hypnotic trance. Franz Anton Mesmer. You are a shot. <laughs> and put them under his spell. This young woman is in urgent need of Franz Anton Mesmer. Listen, I can hear it. Take it to Mesmer. <laughs> Everyone's gone mad. <gasps> what are you trying to say? I love you. You will feel. <sighs> what is to be is not out of our hands. This is a day of infamy and of outrage which will long be remembered. Starring Alan Rickman, winner Best Actor Montreal Film Festival. This is just plucked. And Amanda Ooms in a Roger Spottiswood film. If Dr. Mesmer seeks is that he engages the imagination. And is not this alone a wonderful advance in medicine? Dr. Mesmer is at your service. Mesmer. This year, only one motion picture will bring you all the surprises that life and love can offer. The air is full of spicy. <laughs> Marianne and Eleanor, as different as two sisters can be. Do you love him? I do not attempt to deny that I think very highly of him, that I greatly esteem him. Esteem him? Like him? Eleanor is not like you, me, dear. She does not like to be swayed by her emotions. Columbia Pictures invites you. The more I know of the world, the more I am convinced that I shall never see a man whom I can truly love. To find romance. Marianne, you must change. You will catch a cold. What care I for colds when there is such a man? You will care very much when your nose swells up. You are right. Help me, Eleanor. To feel passionately. Why did you not urge him to stay? You must have had his reasons for going. I know the cruelty of dividing two young people long attached to one another. Eleanor, where is your heart? To laugh unexpectedly. Oh, if only this rain would stop. Only you would stop. <laughs> and to risk everything for someone you love. Your sister seems very happy. We know so little of him. Willoughby! <laughs> From Jane Austen's timeless classic, Get Ready to Lose Your Heart. And come to your senses. Academy Award winner Emma Thompson, Alan Rickman, Kate Winslet, and Hugh Grant. Sense and Sensibility. I can practically recite the complete words of all. 
truly, madly, deeply alive. I've got to be somewhere else. It's very complicated. But darling, I don't want you to go. I don't know what I want. Truly, madly, deeply. I truly, madly. I really, truly, madly love you. I really, truly, madly, deeply love you. I really, truly, madly, deeply, passionately love you. From the writer of The Full Monty. It is Christina, isn't it? Brian! Comes the uplifting tale of young lovers. I missed you. Me too. Forbidden passion. Stay clear of that girl. There are people you practice on and people you don't. And ancient rivalries. One of the nastiest double crowns I've ever had the misfortune to tackle. How the mighty have fallen. He used to be somebody you're done. Too scared to even enter now. Yeah, well, I'm not. When two houses of divided style... You're cheating. I'm winning. Dance forward, back forward, back 30 times a minute. Compete for the ultimate crown. What is it, love? It's Dad! He's caught you! It's a tangled weave. Alan Rickman, Natasha Richardson, Rachel Griffiths, Heidi Klum, Rachel Lee Cook, and Josh Harnett in an outrageous comedy. If you want it, you better cut it. Does it bother you? No volume, no real hold, that's the problem. Of hair-crossed lovers. I've got the color I really have. Blow dry. Why would a doctor want to hire a compliment? This is where my work is done. What is your work? Medical research. Let me see those hands. You must have got it. Oh, Vivian! He's working at a hospital, right? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's going to see how smart you are. Vivian, Dr. Blayoff wanted you to have this. Excuse me. All workers punching at the rear entrance. He's with me. I'm sorry, Dr. Blaylock, but that's the rules. You don't know her face. She's I don't think that she's breathing right now. I don't think that she's breathing. That baby back there, how long? Six months. Are you going to take this on, doctor? No one's ever done anything as hard as this. You can't operate on the heart. That's basic. There must be a way to get more blood to the lungs. If we focus on the pulmonary artery. Oh, I'm as God's earth, are you? Got that white coat. You're just a class three. Work the same as me. I'd like some coffee and a donut. What about you going to medical school? You don't have to remind me of that, Clara. We have a family now. Let's start with experiments. Let's break their rules. You can begin the incision. I'm not ready for that. If I say you're ready, you're ready. You have to see this. Vivian Thomas is operating, assisted by the chief of surgery. Retract. No, Susan. Can we try things my way occasionally? We found a way to repair your daughter's heart. Your quest for glory is vain. Postpone the operation until you have more experience. Postponing means signing that baby's death warrant. I'm operating tomorrow. Hey, Vivian Thomas. What's wrong? What's happening? Paging Vivian Thomas. Come on in the right now. You're talking me through this. Scrub up. What's he doing here? You can resume your duties. These are his duties made history together. We changed the world. That's okay. It's smoky. I detect bacon fat laced with honey. I just read an article. California is going to produce wine that will rival the finest of the French. I'm going to California to try and find some respectable competition. In honor of your bicentennial, I'm organizing a tasting. What do you want? To taste your Chardonnay. Hey, can we get a barrel sample for this uh, French wine snob? Believe it! Make out! Plenty of palatable wines around here. You don't have to worry about that. My definition of palatable might be slightly different. Your You're a snob. Am I? Hey, Bo. Hey, Joe. You didn't call. Having trouble with that big old dialing finger again. Which one were you with today? <laughs> Raised in the vineyards of Northern California, he has our valley's grapes in his blood. Taste that wine. Tell me if you still would have rather sold your grapes to Gallo. Can I try it? Did you sleep with her? She liked my wine. A lot. Why don't I like you? Because you think I'm an arsehole. And I'm not really. I'm just British and, well... You're not. I've read about it, but I've never seen it. You can make a wine 
too perfectly. You have to have it in your blood. You have to grow up with the soil underneath your nails and the smell of the grape in the air that you breathe. Just want to not fail at this, to not completely fail. I wanted you to have two bottles of our Chardonnay if you decide to choose them. My family runs a small vineyard here in Napa. I'm only allowed to carry on one bottle of wine. My granddaddy made hooch during Prohibition. Yo! Ow! Baby! Oh my God! Taste that. This is the best Chardonnay I've ever tasted. Wine is sunlight held together by water. The poetic wisdom of the Italian physicist, philosopher, and stargazer Galileo Galilei. I am technically not French.